Hi, everyone. Uh, welcome back to our weekly, better say, be weekly uh, webinar series. When we merge the two worlds together, the, the world of art tech and venture capital, our fuel arts webinars. Uh, my name is Dennis Belkovich. I'm the co founder and CEO of uh, Fuel Arts investment platform from New York slash Miami. So, and with me uh, as the co host uh, today, Sonia Stubblebine, as always. I said today, but as always, Sonia Stubblebine, the project manager at Fuel Arts and head of uh, content. So, as you know, last week uh, we opened a series of uh, interviews, uh, webinars with the founders of. Uh, the startups who have passed the Fuel Arts and Tales Accelerator uh, with our graduates so that the international art tech community learned more about their growth and success. We already held two webinars and eight are ahead, including this one. So just to remind you, uh, throughout May, we'll have two webinars a week, not one, as always. And today we are happy to uh, present you the pure AI uh our tech startups uh called digital plus from the usa and we're welcome uh the founder of digital plus oleg yusupov hi oleg hi hi, oleg. hi everyone yes well th thanks thanks for jumping uh at the call and thanks uh first of all for um your extensive work we which you have been doing uh exploring ai for yeah. the art and tech and thanks for applying to fill arts and tests acceleration and thanks for completing the course because we know that uh, throughout the the batch you had a lot of uh, proposals from uh, microsoft from uh, uh, open ai as part of uh, microsoft and from uh, cgi uh, companies so you you, 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 your attention your attention could be spread between a lot of proposals but though uh, I mean uh, nevertheless you uh, completed the course mm -hmm. and just to remind our audience about your CV so Oleg is a CEO and co-founder at the digital plus digital plus is the Emmy nominated company so, and uh, Oleg is an adherent of the concept of linking art, science, and business. Uh, together with his team, he has won over 60 worldwide awards, uh, such as Red Dot, Webby, Emmy, and uh, Cannes Lions. Um, Shortlist. So, hmm? Shortlist, Cannes Lions, I mean. Mm -hmm. Shortlist, I mean. Yeah. Long Lions, <laughs> Shortlist. <laughs> and uh, for for us as the uh, as as fuel arts, I mean, we, we really appreciate when the founders are continuing their education, and uh, we're pleased to know that you, Oleg, uh, you are actively involved in the uh, conduct of the master's program, which is called Augmented Virtual Reality and Artificial Intelligence. So great. Congratulations with the uh, with the graduation from the Arts and Tales Accelerator and with the uh, with the first investment reach outs. Thank you very much uh, for you and for, uh, for for our teams to this accelerator. Good. So uh, as we entered uh, 2023 and 2023 is proudly called the year of AI. So we're happy to discover more about the, the features of AI with uh, one of the future unicorns of AI, Digital Plus. But our first question is quite a traditional one. So uh, we mentioned your, um, a part of your background, but what exactly has brought you to Web3 with AI? Uh, yeah, uh, I won't say that uh, when we are talking about Web3, uh, I think we must uh, include several uh, points. Uh, first point for me, it's not Web3, it's not about only about blockchain and uh, decentralization. For me, Web3, it is uh, okay, blockchain decentralization, but uh, uh, second point, I think that it is metaverse, for example, yeah, and uh, uh, when I talk about metaverse, I uh, I talk about 
computer graphics, augmented and virtual reality, 3D models, etc. So it's it's more biggest uh, than only uh, decentralized or etc. Um, mm. systems. Uh, and third point, uh, artificial intelligence. Yeah, I think that it's uh, technology um, like a database. I mean that uh, uh, at this moment we use uh, website and uh, uh, all website don't uh, uh, don't say on the landing page that we are used database uh, because it's normal. And I think that it's uh, that artificial intelligence it will be something like database uh, for our internet and Web three including. So uh, when uh, we we're working uh, with computer graphics and augmented and virtual reality technologies more than six years, seven years. Uh, and uh, uh, my team and I understand that uh, content creation to this is very time consuming and cost, uh, mm, uh, no, no cost effectively. I mean that uh, uh, to work with uh, 3D modeling, uh, 2D textures, uh, uh, and the panorams, uh, uh, it a lot of time and uh, specialists and licenses. So uh, we understand that we can create something new, uh, something uh, next generation creative toolkit for Web3, including uh, because uh, a lot of people don't use at this moment Web3 metaverse systems because uh, it's not enough content. I, 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 I think that's not the main reason, but it's very important reason. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, uh, at this moment we're focusing on this because understand that uh, it can be uh, important thing to Web3 scaling. Absolutely. Also, we would love to use this as an opportunity to ask you about your experience in fuel arts and dust accelerator. So could you tell us and our audience, what were your main takeaways? What did you learn? Uh, two points. Uh, third point, uh, first point, I think that uh, uh, about all accelerators, I think that it's very important to start up because uh, uh, it's mentorships, it is about network, uh, it is about uh, um, some specific knowledge. And uh, uh, you, uh, like an entrepreneur, understand uh, how you can uh, think different uh, about your business model, about your business uh, mindset, etc. Uh, it, it is general. And uh, about um, Fuel Arts and Tesis Foundation um, Accelerator, for me, it's more important things, uh, uh, two, two, two more important things. First, uh, this is about uh, uh, business development uh, in Web3 uh, because uh, we're a startup and uh, we don't have enough uh, specialists to work with uh, a lot of companies, etc. And for me, it is important um, to to be in Web3 ecosystem um, and the uh, uh, accelerator get get this. Uh, and, and a second point, it is about blockchain technologies and uh, uh, of course, Tezos. I mean that uh, we are not from uh, blockchain and Web3 uh, generally. We are about artificial intelligence and content creation. Mm, but we understand that uh, it's a uh, very synergy uh, and uh, in accelerator we uh, we knew uh, about uh, blockchain a lot of uh, uh, knowledge thank you thank you thank you Alex. so uh yeah Tesla might be a perfect bridge between artificial intelligence and web3 uh so let's remind our audience for those who haven't uh, been uh, present at the demo day. Let's remind them your deck. So please pitch again, probably two weeks after the accelerator, uh, you will have some additional news or will be less worried or more worried. It's always interesting how the uh, manners of uh, elevator pitching 
differ from the demo day to let's say one weeks after. Uh, I'm stuck. Yeah. Okay. Uh, hello, everyone. Um, my name is Alexey Supov. I'm CEO, and the founder of Digital Plus, and uh, we are a workspace for game dev teams. We um, combine more than thirty neural networks in one place to give creators a superpower. So we think that uh, one of the biggest important problem on game development that this is uh, game content creation is costly and time consuming for example for one game you need to create more than one million assets and uh, it is uh, about text image textures video uh, 3d etc uh, and uh, with a solution we can uh, create this x25 faster uh, and uh, more than 250% uh, cost effectively uh, because it's very easy to start. Uh, it is web uh, web page without code, without hardware, no, empl no employer training, etc. Uh, and it is multitask. At this moment, uh, uh, you uh, all heard about ChatGPT, about DALI, Majorni, etc. But it's only one task. Uh, to create the image to text, etc. But uh, in business process, you need multitask, and uh, we create a workflow with using uh, neural networks. Uh, we have AI library. It is free search of uh, all uh, generative AI uh, tools uh, in a uh, website, and then you can uh, choose one of these and create this is pipeline. And uh, one of the biggest uh, uh, competitive advantage that we create one day to market uh, a new neural network to our workspace. And all uh, um, use cases of our game dev uh, clients, it is create location, characters, assets. For example, for one character, you need three days at this moment, but with Fidgeto Plus, it's only two hours. And in one uh, game, you, you create more than uh, 10 or 100 characters. So it's it's very important to um, saving money. Uh, it is a corporate customer pipeline at this moment. Uh, we have uh, a lot of uh, contacted pilots and uh, paid customers. We see that our focus market is game development. Um, um, it's more than 250 a uh, thousand uh, game developing companies with uh, more than um, 25 uh, average uh, 25 employees in in-house design teams our business model software as a service we have subscription model and api uh, uh, we have uh, a lot of competitors uh, at this moment but it's not doesn't matter for us because they don't uh, solve the problem uh, as I say previously, that uh, it's not about single task. You need to create a business um, process. You need to create a pipeline of neural networks. Um, this is more detailed uh, competitor analysis. Um, uh, and the more important thing uh, about competitive advantage is that it's we create one day market uh, from new neural network to our place. We are vertical integrated um, product and uh, uh, we like a AI Lego. Uh, I mean that uh, mm, for us, uh, uh, neural network, it's like a block and you can create new uh, building with these blocks. Our vision, it is all stage of content creation for game development in one place and one click. We want to become the core content creation tool for casual game market at this moment. It's our first stage. Uh, attraction, we um, release at September 22. Uh, at this moment, we have more than 3,700 USA dollars monthly recurring payments. And we estimated that we will be more than 7,000 USA dollars in the next month. Um, we have more than seven years experience in artificial intelligence and computer graphics, um, create more than 100 projects. Uh, uh, we have more than 16 international awards, uh, like Webby, Red Dot, Shortlist Comes Line, 
and M nominated. We supported by a media inception program and Microsoft for startups. And uh, this moment we have grant by Amazon Web Services and OpenAI to implement and chat GPT to our product. And we ask uh, uh, 1 million, um, uh, 1.5 million dollars uh, for um, next um, successful stage for us. And uh, we think that it's more than um, 100 USA dollars at uh, uh, quarter three uh, to the 2024 years. Thank you for your attention and I will be glad to answer your questions. Okay, yeah, thank you, Oleg. Uh, that was that was impressive. That was more relaxed than during the demo day. Uh, and um, I've seen several improvements that you've made uh, so far uh, two weeks after, I mean, in, in your speech. And uh, yeah, it's it, it's natural because they uh, both your elevator pitch and your uh, pitch deck is not a, a static is not a static thing, so you, you should always improve that, taking into consideration the market trends, the market changes, and uh, some other advice made uh, by the mentors or uh, key stakeholders of, of the art tech or uh, AI industry. So yeah, let's, um, let's cl clarify some questions and uh, I just want to uh, prompt you that uh, we have a limit for like two minutes per uh, answer. So yeah, you, you've showed, you've devoted um, two pages to the competitive ecosystem and competitive advantage. Uh, and there were uh, quite a few of them that you've enumer enumerated, but what is your main competitive advantage? So could you please name one which you uh, treat most of all as, as, as the, the coolest one as your secret sauce? Uh, most uh, uh, most important thing uh, about competitive uh, advantage this is uh, machine learning as a service platform. I mean that it's a platform when we working with AI services and uh, uh, implement into our product for one day. It is more important because uh, uh, all of our us competitors don't have something like this. And uh, for example. Uh, Mm, generative AI market uh, growing very fast and uh, we see that uh, every day, every week uh, um, created new AI tools, new neural networks, etc. And the competitors don't have uh, this opportunity to change this uh, product like us uh, for, for this dynamic. Thank you. Thank you. And so the next question will be actually about the scaling. How do you see your startup scaling in the future? Uh, for us, schedule game development is uh, first uh, stage. I mean that uh, we are working with visual content creation and uh, uh, at this moment more production ready results uh, in um, this era. And it, it is a very big market, uh, I mean, on game development. And, but we see that uh, our scaling, it, it will be uh, working with uh, more uh, AI tools, more uh, data, um, I mean, type of, type of data, for example, uh, at this moment, we are uh, uh, um, mostly working with 2D, but next step is working with 3D data. So uh, about scaling uh, new markets, and the new type of data. Cool. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Anna, for commanding with the uh, website of Fidgetal Plus. It's very simple. Yeah, Fidgetal.plus. So, uh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, uh, just go to the website to, to learn more. Uh, Oleg, we've uh, seen in your deck. Uh, huge team like seven persons they are uh, at least seven persons and uh, of course we know that in the end of the day investors are investing not in the business models or business ideas but in the teams because it's quite easier to uh, find a disruptive business model or especially on a hot market but it's not that easy to 
to find a, a great team, you know. Uh, so could you please tell more about your team and uh, especially about the decision-making process in your startup? So what is the hierarchy? Who takes the decisions? How decisions are spread and, and made? Mm -hmm. uh, at this moment, uh, we uh, not seven, we nine person, uh, uh, but... Uh, um, about our team, uh, so we uh, with several people we're working more than five years together, uh, and, and I think that's very important. With my co-founder, we're working more than eight years. All of my business uh, entrepreneur experience working with Zoya, it's my co-founder, um, and uh, at this moment, uh, I, I think that. Uh, mm, in my team, all uh, people, uh, it's like a researchers, yeah, uh, so uh, because we're working on new frontier technologies and uh, if you don't like this uh, technology, uh, if you want to working on corporate, uh, you uh, don't... Uh, cannot work in with startup and you can work uh, uh, with uh, new technology uh, without uh, uh, understanding what the um, um, opportunities it, it, it will be. So I think that it's my uh, uh, team. It's uh, very hard and uh, we have uh, uh, enough expertise um to, to to work um to to create the uh, biggest uh, company in this area so about decision making um uh, i think that um it's it's a very hard question for me because uh, um all of my entrepreneurial experience i working on a t organization is uh, without hierarchy it is about uh, without management etc but i think that at this moment it's not um good uh, it's not best uh management system so at this moment we uh classic uh, management system with uh, objective key results kpis uh, with uh, uh, goals on the week sprints agile etc uh, and uh, i want to uh, Say about my product manager uh, Olga. Uh, it is uh, uh, she is uh, a perfect product manager and uh, uh, a lot of uh, problems uh, about product uh, uh, on her side, not mine. <laughs> uh, so uh, I think that it's uh, um, about decision making. I'm about strategy. I'm about uh, uh, new clients. About uh, uh, mm, focusing um, and uh, all the decision making uh, on uh, product uh, development. Cool. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, who, a short, a short addition to the question: uh, Who is making? Uh, who is holding uh, negotiations with investors? Who is jumping on a calls with investors when investors want to to invest in you? Me and Olga. Okay. Cool. Okay, thanks, Mark. Thanks for sharing that. Also, would like to know more. What is your take? How will the market look like after your product is launched? What are your ideas about it? Like in uh, five years, yeah. If if, yeah. Thought, if you meant that. Yeah, exactly. So in the five five years from now, yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, I think that it's. Uh, uh, <clears throat> Five years uh, later, we we um, more more than uh, ninety percent of uh, uh, images, uh, text, three uh, D, etc., will be generated by AI in the internet. Uh, I mean the synthetic data. I mean synthetic uh, media. Um, a lot of types of data. So I think that uh, and. As I said pre uh, uh, previously before, uh, that AI, it's like a database. So I think that uh, in five years, uh, we will be horiz uh, horizontal uh, technology. 
uh, in uh, uh, all of type of uh, business. And uh, and so why I say that uh, for us uh, game development it's only uh, first stage uh, because I, I understand that uh, uh, later it will be in uh, computer graphics, uh, film industry, uh, uh, media, etc. Thank okay. you. We're very. I think it's very interesting just in general to talk about AI and how things are going to develop because I feel like you know. All these discussions, they're all related to that. So let's see what's going to happen in five years and let's see about your predictions. But thanks for sharing. Yeah, uh, I remember one of my first bosses many years ago, like 20 years ago, he said, he, he, he was constantly saying, uh, if you don't make mistakes, that means that you don't work. So, uh, Oleg, what mistakes did you make since you launched Digital Plus, and uh, what did you learn from it? <laughs> uh, it's uh, it's um, I, I I don't know uh, um, a lot of mistakes. Uh, <laughs> it's my short. mistakes was uh, that uh, uh, before I uh, was a, a man who working uh, with a lot of things. Uh, so I, I think, um, I mean that uh, we working with a lot of technology, for example, yeah, it's uh, artificial intelligence, computer graphics, XR, etc. Uh, and uh, I uh, think, I thought that, uh, uh, for example, chief technology officer uh, must be a genius in all of this uh, technology. But it, it, it is, it's not working. Uh, because uh, if you are a chief technology officer and uh, uh, it is new from chief technologies, you can be uh, better in only one area. So I, I think that it's more most uh, important uh, uh, mistake for for me um, about uh, focusing uh, on uh, people, uh, not focusing. And the sec second mistake it's about uh, focusing on market uh, because uh, uh, it's very hard to me uh, was uh, focusing on game development, for example, because I understand that uh, our product uh, can be work with uh, all of uh, um, business with content creation. Mm, and um, mm, it, it's mistake because when you are not focusing on a specific area, you, uh, you, you cannot create uh, best experience in this, uh, in this area. I think this, but I can uh, uh, I can uh, talking about mistakes uh, like uh, and as an entrepreneur, I think a lot of time. <laughs> sure, sure. The, the the most important is what you learn from it, and that you don't forget. Don't forget about those mistakes. Absolutely. Also, we'd love to know your uh, inspirations. We'd love to learn more about who inspires you. What are the like key examples? Who are the people that you look at and you get the most motivation and inspiration? Uh, it's not only about entrepreneur, yeah? It's about well, mostly about entrepreneurs, but also if you have other examples, please share with us. Yeah, for instance, yeah, if uh, uh, Charles Darwin inspires you to create... Digital Plus, but not Elon Musk or Bill Gates. So uh, <laughs> that could be also acceptable. Yeah, um, because um, I'm not inspired by uh, another entrepreneur. Um, of course, Steve Jobs, Elon Musk, it's uh, genius and it's very important for uh, a lot of uh, entrepreneurs and IT. But uh, uh, for me, it's... Uh, uh, Inspire, uh, it means uh, something another. Uh, I have uh, a concept uh, 
uh, connection of art, science, and business, and uh, uh, inspired to, uh, to to create something like physical class. It was uh, John Rowling with Harry Potter, for example, or Marvel with uh, Iron Man and Jarvis uh, system, uh, something like this. Um, and uh, uh, about art, for example, Escher, uh, it's my favorite um, art artist. Uh, and uh, uh, Benoit Mandelbrot, it's a uh, scientist who, uh, mm, who invented um, fractal uh, geometry. Uh, so it, it, it's very, uh, a big list of uh, uh, genius people who inspire me. Uh, and at this moment, uh, a lot of my attention on Sadhguru, uh, for example, uh, it's about uh, um, esoteric, I don't, I don't know, mystic uh, uh, knowledge uh, about your uh, yoga, uh, about your body, etc. Cool. I mean, the more people uh, inspire you, the, the, the more times you're uh, a huge a person, a human, as the proverb says. So uh, let's get back to your fundraising experience. We know that 2023, I mean, in quarter one, 2023, uh, almost, I mean, more than, yeah, today even, uh, more than 18, 18, mil, uh, 18 billion have been um, invested as cumulative uh, assets uh, into uh, AI startups. And that's a real breakthrough in investment, uh, investment terms for AI technologies. So could you please tell us about your fundraising experience, maybe fundraising experience if to compare it before 2023 and now, and what tips could you share with us? Uh, I'm the stripper. Um... I'm a uh, uh, product on, on my money, uh, on my previous company mm, created. And uh, uh, I have no uh, experience about fundraising. Uh, um, at this moment, I create some uh, first steps on this area. Uh, so I think that about tips, it's not about me. Um, you're a lucky person. You're a lucky person. You you didn't have you didn't have a, a fundraising experience. I mean, you, you haven't heard no yet. Sorry. Uh, yeah. No, no. I I, I, I heard this. <laughs> uh, in fundraising and uh, in uh, personal life, <laughs> all the time. Uh, I, I think uh, about fundraising. Um, um, about tips uh, uh, at this moment uh, in venture uh, in venture uh, capital uh, some strange uh, mm, some strange time uh, because uh, a lot of uh, firms uh, investors uh, don't understand what will be in uh, in this uh, year uh, I mean econ macroeconomical situation. Uh, and uh, of course, generate AI. A lot of people understand that it's uh, very important. It's a very um, mm, uh, big opportunities. But uh, uh, I think that uh, at this moment, a lot of investors and entrepreneurs don't uh, think about uh, ROI uh, of this investment. I mean that a lot of startups don't have a good uh, unit economy, business models, etc. And uh, my focus at this moment on uh, uh, creating a good uh, business model uh, um, to uh, 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 to understand how we will scale with money uh, and. Uh, um, I think that uh, it's my um, focus on this. Great. I mean, you're you, you're um, holding a very quite rare position of a, a startup on a hot market, 
uh, nowadays it's AI, as we all know. So a uh, startup or who, who thinks about his strategic goals and uh, really cares about the business model, about the revenue streams and about uh, it's um, about the scaling of the business, because most of the VC investors on a hot market, they are uh, unfortunately, they, they do not care about the scalability of startups. They, they are just oriented on short term investments. That's why a lot of bus, that's why a lot of uh, money deployed. But let's say easy come easy go so uh for sure i mean we will be happy if you uh if you st start pleasing your uh investors and those investors will be strate strategists uh like microsoft and and other uh big names who who think ahead and who who rely not only on the let's say uh temperature of the market but also on the uh, strategic goals and and scalability and the uh, the opportunities uh, that are provided by the team of the startup. I mean, when the team is uh, w w when the team is uh, not only friendly and professional, but they they, they have experience both bootstrapping, uh, investment rounds, and gaps hazards. So it's really forged forged in in fire and and fame as well. So yeah, th that that was uh, that was my opinion, uh, and now we're uh, close to the final questions that uh, Sonia will ask you. Actually, there is one question left. Yeah. So basically, um, in the end of every webinar, we're asking our speakers about the tips. So, what would be your tips for people who are like entering AI and entering the market and would love to do like you know create a startup right now? What would you recommend for them? Um, first, uh, first thing is. Uh... I, I, I think that uh, two uh, important things. First, uh, uh, thinking about value. Uh, what 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 what's the value of your startup? I mean that uh, uh, okay. Uh, I implement ChatGPT to uh, bot, uh, Telegram bot or uh, website. Okay, and uh, what's next? What's next step? What's the real value of, for this product uh, you create. Uh, uh, um, this and second point, uh, focusing focusing uh, on specific area. Um, I don't know. Uh, um, it's your real pain um, working with uh, psychologist, and uh, you understand that ChatGPT can create something uh, new experience in this area, okay, create um, this product, so. Thank you for sharing that. I think that was like very precise and we're definitely gonna share it with everyone who's gonna enter the market. Thanks, Alec. Yeah, thanks, Thank Alec. Wish you uh, prosperity and implementation of all of your goals and uh, efforts and uh, let's say, plans for scaling your beautiful uh, startup. Again, th thanks for taking part in our Fuel Arts and Tales Accelerator. I wish you good luck and staying in touch as with all of the alumni. And uh, next week, next Tuesday, we are meeting with our audience again to discover the fourth startup of 10. It will be Aerarium Chain from Italy who are making a successful uh successful merge of web 2 and web 3 in terms of uh preserving cultural heritage working with museums through nfts so absolutely thanks everyone for joining today thank you Alec, to, so much for joining us and for many insights and see everyone on tuesday thank you bye yeah thank you bye bye